Alrighty, hello everyone. So in this session, I want to introduce you to some customized views that you can set up in your Allegro PCB editor environment. So as an example, there's nothing visible on the canvas, but I have a predefined file that I created before I started here, titled top underscore view, which upon clicking, quickly turns on the desired layers that I predefined. So in this particular case, it was the etch via and pin on the top layer, and then also the assembly outline of the packages, and of course the design outline as well of my board. So a, a very convenient way to have some of these uh, predefined or customized uh, views. And let's do uh, another one uh, right here where i want to maybe turn on the bottom layer and the respective components so what i would do is essentially turn off everything from the top turn off the assembly top as well and rather let's enable the assembly bottom let's turn on the bottom edge via and pin and let's also actually flip the design because that is the the preferred uh, a viewing method that we would like here. So let's just go down to the view here and flip design. And now if I want to save this particular view, I would go to the view dropdown and click color view save. Let's give this title. So let's uh, follow the similar convention as before, bottom view, define the location. Uh, in the method, I want to check the radio button that says complete visibility update, preserve the zoom level, and preserve the flip state as well and hit save and there you go that's done so now if i want to alternate between the two i can go go to my top view let's say i zoom out and then i want to immediately go to my bottom view that i'd set up previously and there it is right uh quick and easy on on the screen there and another type of view that i think is worth mentioning here is if you go back to the color view save function and within this dialog, if we select a partial update, then I can actually selectively just add the other various features that I would like to be included. Right. So in this particular case, say I want to show my inner layers. Let's uh, give the title add inner and go ahead and click save. And then to test it out, let me go back to my previous bottom view. And now if I want to turn on all of my inner layers simultaneously, I can simply just pick the file, add inner, and you can see that my previous view is, uh, remains as it was, and these four internal planes have now been enabled. And then lastly, for completeness, in case uh, you do find it of value here, as part of the save dialog, you can actually just do a partial update as well using the visibility toggle. So let's uh, title this toggle inner and make sure that we go ahead and select these four layers, click save, close. And now if I were to go to the toggle inner, right, those four layers turn on. If I go back and select toggle inner again, those four layers would turn off. Now, one more thing to mention, which is quite important uh, with respect to these pre-configured views, you do want to make sure that as part of your user preferences, you have the right path defined for where these dot color files are stored. So uh, you make sure you check under your config folder here, and uh, rather you'll have to go to the next page, so it's uh, partially hidden, and make sure that your view path directory is set to the correct location. So if I were to look at the default and expand this, right, it's part of the the cadence installation directory. And this is where you'll notice all of your dot color files get generated. But if you want something specific to a design and want to keep it within that container, then make sure to go and update this particular path. Okay, I uh, hope uh, you find this uh, quite useful and continue on with your journey to become a PCB pro.